Hi guys, welcome back to the GCC Chemistry AQA um, example questions and mark schemes. This is the second video uh, surrounding the second topic uh, of bonding, structure and the properties of matter. Uh, like previously, I'll give you uh, some examples of a range of questions on this topic and uh, point out some of the points uh, point out some of the yeah, major points in questions and some areas you might slip up and then also supply you with the, the mark scheme as well. Right, let's get started. So the first question we've got here is um, basically a low demand question. There are five different pictures there of, of different types of uh, molecules and bonding. And you've got various questions below um, related to uh, these diagrams, and you have to select, you have to tick one box. I mean, one is in bold there, so you must only tick one box um, in relation to those questions. So the first things I, I would consider is is looking at these diagrams and and just having a, a rough idea of what's going on in each one. So if you look at A, you've got a single type of particle that's spread out, not touching in a random fashion. Okay, so that should give some hints to what A might be. In B, we've got two different types of particles, uh, very, very close together with different charges, opposite charges of positive and negative, in a lattice type structure. And then C, we've got um, these positive uh, particles there. Um, with delocalized electrons in between. Okay, again, that should give you a hint for what that might be. And in D, we've got a single type of particle joined together in again in a, a lattice structure. Okay, and then in E, we've got chains of particles, so long chains of particles um, lying over the top of one another. So question A is which diagram shows a gas, and you have to select one of those. Question B, which diagram shows the structure of diamond? Uh, question C, which diagram shows a metallic structure? And question D, which diagram shows a polymer? So the, the command word here, is, there isn't a direct one, but it is really you're, you're choosing. So you're selecting from a range of alternatives there. OK, if you pause the video now and attempt the question, and then unpause to reveal the mark scheme. Okay, the second question. Uh, this question is uh, about lithium reacting with chlorine to produce lithium chloride. So you're given information in the question, such as when lithium atoms and chlorine atoms react to produce lithium chloride, lithium ions and chloride ions are formed. The diagram shows the electronic structures of these atoms and ions. So you've got the atoms on the left and the ions on the right. Describe what happens when a lithium atom reacts with a chlorine atom. Answer in terms of electrons. So you've actually been given quite a lot of information here. The describe command word that says that students may be asked to recall some facts, events or processes in an accurate way. So it's asking here to describe how those lithium atoms okay, have basically become lithium ions okay, and how those chlorine atoms have become chloride ions. So just to recap, describe what happens when a lithium atom reacts with a chlorine atom. And you must answer in terms of electrons. Okay, so you've got the diagrams there to help you. What has happened in terms of electrons from one diagram to the other? Pause the video, try and answer the question, and then look at the mark scheme. Okay, the third question, the third example we've got here. This question is about the properties and uses of materials. Use your knowledge of structure and bonding to answer the questions. Explain how copper conducts electricity. Explain why diamond is hard. 
and explain why thermosetting polymers are better than thermosofting polymers for source pan pandas. So the key term here is explain. Okay, explain is when students should make something clear or state the reasons for something happening. Okay, so in A there you need to say why. Why does copper conduct electricity? What does it have? What about its property and its structure means it can conduct electricity? Again, part B, explain why diamond is high. Why is it that diamond is high? Explain why thermosetting polymers are better than thermosofting polymers for source pan handles. Source pan handles is, is a bit of a clue there. Okay, source pan handles are likely to get very hot. Um, so that's going to be linking in to why thermosetting polymers are better than thermosofting polymers. Again, pause the video and have a go at answering the question and then check the marks field. Okay, this question, the diagram shows a small part of the structure of silicon dioxide. Explain why silicon dioxide is a suitable material for lining furnaces. Again, this is an explain question, so you should be making something clear or state the reasons for something happening. In this one, it wants you to state the reasons why silicon dioxide is suitable material for lining furnaces. Even if you don't know what silicon dioxide is, it's got a picture there of its structure. Okay, and that's it even says it's a small part of the structure. So again, that should give you clues to, to what its structure actually is um, and the reasons why it would be suitable for lining a furnace. So if you weren't sure a furnace is, is very, very, very hot. Again, Pause the video, answer the question, and then look at the mask field. 